We hit the home stretch today with a look at development in the housing sector, especially the second national housing program, which has helped in creating thousands of jobs for artisans throughout the length and breadth of Nigeria. The program, which is expected to be delivered in 33 states in the next few weeks, according to many who have worked at site and Nigerians in states where they are situated, has a game-changing power. In the past, stock of housing was characterized by shanty towns, dilapidated houses, and unsanitary conditions without basic amenities. And it is fueled by sequence of socio-economic as well as political factors. The present government has continued to review its strategies, fashion new options to address the challenges in housing infrastructure through increased budgetary allocation to the sector in the last one year, to revitalize and position it as a catalyst for development and sustainable growth. Most of the states, uh, you, visit, you find empty buildings, empty houses, and uh, studies show that uh, they either were not built with consultation and conformity with what people want or people could not afford them. So we were very clear that the country should decide in consultation with the people what kind of house they want. So we're running pilots and after the pilots are, are tested and people accept them, and uh, they can afford them, then the market will open for rapid mass deployment. Since the first national housing you know, uh, program that was executed under President Shagari, 2016 was the first year when national housing program uh, was also introduced by this government. We are looking at who is going to take these houses? What is his need? What is his requirement? Because affordability is a term that can be given any meaning by anybody. For example, a five million naira house can be affordable to me or to the permanent secretary, but is it affordable to some other persons? No. Therefore, uh, what you are building is only affordable to the person who can afford it. So we now look at who the person is who wants to take this house and then try to make it affordable to him. We are using this pilot scheme to try to establish this before rolling out on a, a massive uh, scale. So we, by the time this are uh, determined, we, the intention is that the mode of disposal should be such that uh, the income will be able to be funneled into the program itself. After a survey of what the people in different zones of the country may accept, the current administration took a tour of the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory where its national housing program pilot phase is being implemented. At the various sites, many Nigerians spoke about how the construction work has put food on their tables. Before I will bend a bit, my hand not too strong like that. Okay. But what we are going to say is that maybe we will go ahead and, and may continue the regime in good and by the grace of God, things he will st still continue and God will still give him power to continue. My business helped me in many things because I pay school fees, I buy clothes, even though pure water, that that work. So I thank God and I, I pray may God help the government more because of the second time go help us like me more more. <laughs> It turns cement. Okay, you don't turn cement. Okay, you carry on too. How much do they pay you? Two thousand naira every day. Yes, sir. The Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, stressed the need for the provision of affordable and acceptable accommodation for Nigerians across the country under its national housing program. Public works are also being undertaken on federal secretariats in Zamfara, Bayesa, 
Nasarawa and Ekiti, including the Zik Mausoleum in Onicha. Let me also point out that our pilot national housing program has led to a nationwide housing construction being undertaken in 34 states where we have received land. No less than a thousand people are employed on each of those sites. This is quite apart from the staff of the successful contractors who want the bids to construct. These sites are now an ecosystem of human enterprise where artisans, vendors, suppliers and craftsmen converge to partake of opportunities and contribute to nation building. These are some of the most vulnerable people for whom President Buhari has delivered. With over 76 housing units comprising of one, two, three bedroom flats and a condominium which is a three-story building being built across states, the minister notes that the project has not only improved the economy of the nation, but created jobs for teeming unemployed youths in the state. The sector witnessed productivity as the federal government took a giant step towards reducing unemployment in the country by generating over 64,000 jobs across the nation through the National Housing Programme. The fact that, number one, this is done nationwide. Every state has at least that number of units in each state. And some have already been completed. So in our own FCT, we have the 72 units, which will make a great impact and improve the, the living standard of the community around us. We employed, you know, over 300 people, from uh, carpenters to masons, uh, to engineers, to architects, to um, uh, plumbers, uh, literally every kind of uh, skill that you have in Nigeria was literally used in this place. Literally everybody from doctors, everybody has somehow benefited from us being at this place. It's a massive uh, uh, condominium of uh, 24 flasks actually. We have uh, 16 uh, units of uh, one bedroom. We have 16, uh, four units of uh, three bedroom and four units of two bedroom apartments, all embedded in this one gigantic building. With an urbanization rate of 4.39%, demand for affordable housing remains strong, both for rental and purchase. Housing microfinance will play an important role in increasing the supply of housing and efforts to increase access should be undertaken. For this reason, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, during the year advocated for the recapitalization of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria and provision of low-cost housing for low-income earners. We we'll also hopefully then have evolved an affordable Nigerian house with reasonable costs. But again, the house becomes unaffordable if you have to do cash and carry. People buy houses over a period of their lifetime, not overnight. And so, Federal Mortgage Bank becomes critical. If Federal Government helps uh, Federal Mortgage Bank by recapitalizing it, Federal Mortgage Bank can be able to reach out in all the states of the country. And that will now make them to be getting more money from the states on a monthly basis uh, due to participation in the National Housing Fund contributions. The urban and rural dwellers living across the country will now have access to home ownership through the federal housing sector development. Without a doubt, the anchors of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan really is to invest in the Nigerian people. This is an investment in Nigerian people. It's Nigerians that are benefiting here. It is to create a stable micro and macro economic environment. But the numbers you see in terms of growth, we're out of recession. This project contributed to it because it supplied sand. It employed transporters. It employed water suppliers. It created growth economic activity. What else could be more satisfying for a Nigerian than shelter? There is more 
And that is why the President Muhammadu Buhari administration is promoting the use of local contents in the construction of affordable houses across the nation's six geopolitical zones. Unemployment there and there, in, the, in our professional side, we don't have any, in terms of knowledge-wise, I've uh, increased my knowledge in the field. Uh -huh. Secondly, my bank account is high. At least I can solve one or two problems. The program has uh, made significant impact uh, in terms of uh, job employment. We went around our sites and we found that uh, an average of about 1,000 people gaining uh, employment in each of our sites. And uh, uh, like I mentioned, the materials we took stock and found that over $3,000. Because of unaffordable empty houses scattered all over the nation, if government builds houses in one or two states, will it cater for the diverse needs of all Nigerians? The National Housing Program has the answers to these questions, as it would continue to bridge the housing deficit in the country, empower the people develop indigenous capacity in housing delivery, provide decent accommodation to Nigerians, and create millions of jobs nationwide.